In the previous videos, we have shown you already how to create some of the best designs to make your brand go viral or to fulfill your business needs related to creative designing or any kind of graphic designing. But in this video, we are going to show you how you can create an invitation card, whether, whether it is for wedding, birthday party, anniversary or anything else. You can use these invitation cards anywhere which will be independently created on Canva itself. So hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. This is the 12th video in this Canva course and in this video we are going to show you how to make an invitation card in Canva. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So welcome back guys we are in the canva dashboard right now as you can see this is the home of canva okay and as you can see there is a small banner in the header section and it says will you create the 15 billionth design which means canva is about to create the 15 billion design right and the uh, counting is going on so it is kind of a milestone that 15 billion design in just one platform which is canva.com so yeah it is a huge number but for now let's stick to our invitation card and to create an invitation card you just have to create a design as simple as that and we have already shown you anything you want to design you just have to create a design you just have to click on this otherwise you can search here as well but for now i'm searching here and design writing invitation card and here's the pre-made template you just have to click on this and it will redirect you to another tab where you'll get a blank sheet with tons of pre-made templates which you can use in order to create astonishing design of for your invitation right but for now we are going to use a blank sheet because if you master this that how you can create in a blank sheet then using these templates will be a lot easier okay also it is a rectangle shaped invitation card but if you want you can take square shape invitation card as well you just have to go to home and, and search here invitation okay and this is the surprise birthday invitation which is in square size you don't have to worry this is not be customized for birthday invitation you just have to focus on this that it is an invitation card and the size is square so you can take it let me show you if you click on this you will be redirected to, to a blank design okay so you can create according to your and the design is which means the blank sheet is square in size so that is totally up to you which type of shape or which type of size you want right but for now we are going with this one let me increase the size a little bit now first of all in canva we have to take a border right in order to create a invitation card so let's take it we have to search in element section not in the design section in design section you will get the templates templates and styles right but in the element section we'll get the border just search here border and hit enter and here you'll get tons of designs let's choose from these designs these are the border designs which you can choose from for now i guess this one would be fine because i'm uh, creating a gaming theme invitation right so i'm inviting people for a uh, gaming championship so the theme would be uh, according to that right let me yes now if you want to copy this you just have to press alt and drag one more and that's how you can copy now i want to flip it so that we can use this in another corner as well so just one horizontal flip and one vertical flip and that's it do like this right now i think i should change the background as well and for that you just have to select the sheet and go to this color option and here you will get some solid colors otherwise you can choose gradient or any kind of other colors from the element or the background section right for now i'm choosing i should choose blue color i guess no blue color would be a bit dark let's take yellow and make it a bit light and for that we have to click on this plus icon and here we can do this otherwise we can choose blue as well and make it light yeah i guess this one is okay for now if the design doesn't looks good we can change it there's no need to worry about it now let's take text so that we can write the heading and for now i guess these pre-made combinations should be good let me search gaming here 
so that maybe I can get some designs or the pre-made template. I think this one is okay. Otherwise, retro also looks good. Let's choose retro. Okay. Now just right here, marketing fundas invites you to. Now let's resize it to 20 maybe and increase the line spacing so that the, it doesn't get confusion. Now it's fine. Place it here. Marketing fundas. Is it looking good? Otherwise, we can change it also. Uh, I guess we should change it. Select this one. Copy the text and paste it here with selecting. Just click on paste. Yeah, it is looking good. Let's delete this one and select all text and decrease the size into 20. Mm, 25 would be fine, I guess. Yeah. Now increase the spacing a little bit. Yes, we can increase the size like this as well. Now just drag and paste here. Yeah, it is looking good. Just remove the spacing a little bit. Yeah, now it's okay. After this, let's write one more thing and select this font gaming championship. Now select the text and enter 25 gaming championship. Then drag a little bit down. Yeah, it is looking good. I guess the background is not looking good for now. Let me change it to a bit dark color because gaming theme should be dark like this. Yeah, it is looking good. And then we can change the color of this font as well. Go to this, select white or we could maybe choose other color as well like yellow. No, yellow is not looking good. Go to effect, simple. Yeah, it is looking good, right? Now I think I should decrease the spacing again and place it here. Now it is looking good. Now we need to add a trophy icon so that we can show that it is, it is a championship, right? So for that, we could search here, T-R-O-P-H-Y, trophy. And yeah, these icons are looking good. Let's select this one, I guess, or maybe choose this one. Yeah, this one would be fine like this and in the middle otherwise if you are not able to find any kind of element here you can choose from outside as well which means uh outside of the canva and you can import that file into here and let me show you one website from where you can download best pngs and that is png egg this is a free website from where you can download free png images but for now we don't need it Let's stick to our this post like this. We can decrease a little bit size 23. It's okay because we have to add some extra details here. Now let's drag this again. Otherwise this one, this font would be fine. Press Alt and copy this and type here open to all employee. Decrease the size a little bit and add here. Okay, and if it is not visible, then change the design into simple like this. It is also looking good. Then after this, select this one again, press Alt and drag once again. And here you can write register now. And you can do one more thing. Oh, press Alt and drag once again. Select the text or more info marketing pandas.com like this change the effect italic as well and decrease the size into 15 maybe yeah 15 is okay now stretch it and uh, i guess we should decrease the size or i should change the font as well maybe this font would be fine for now for this text no this one is okay yeah, this one is okay decrease the size more and add it here yeah it is okay increase the size of this a little bit so that because it is kind of a cta right and yeah so that's how you create an invitation card whether you want to uh, take this kind of or this size of invitation card otherwise you can take square one as well but the method is same i guess i think you got the point and i hope you understood the video and that's it for this video i hope you like the video and if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button and the main aim of showing this video is to show 
the tools which you can use in Canva to create these kind of designs, right? I'm not just showing you how you can uh, create only this particular design. I'm just showing you how you can experiment with the, these tools and create a design, an astonishing design, right? So I hope you got the point and if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye